so most people are stuck in the loop, you know. And uh, when you start saying the loop is to reveal Jesus, it's a it's a birthing cycle till Christ be formed in you, right? <clears throat> All you have to do is look out in front of you and see today is no different than yesterday. It's the same. Some plants grew, some some plants fell. Regrowth, fall. Regrowth, fall. It's all a repeat. It's all a repeat. Re P E A T. Re physical education A T the blood of his cross. Re P E A T eat. Jesus said, drink of my blood, eat of my flesh. So every day you're eating down here in the natural, the snake eating itself, the creation eating itself. But to have eternal life, you have to eat of the eternal, the eternal word. Eat of the eternal word. This is a great mystery that hardly any preacher talks about. I listened to preachers a long time. I've, I know I've listened to 40,000 preachers. 40,000 sermons. And they don't talk about this. The mystery of eating and drinking of that eternal life. Every day you get up, you're hungry. At some point. Might be at breakfast, might be at lunch. And so you go and you hunt and you gather and you eat of the creation. The creation is the snake eating itself. Because you were born in sin. You were born in sin. The sine wave, sin. S-I-N-E. The sine wave. The cycle. Eve dropped us down into time, right? That's why she has 28 day cycle. If you take and you divide the year into 13 months, you have 28 days. 13 is AC, Antichrist. They changed the calendar to hide it. They, they changed the calendar to hide that Eve has a 28 day cycle. like the moon goes around the earth 28 days. They change the calendar people. The Bible even says the devil wants to change the times and the seasons, you know. You think he's just started this 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 year? No, he's been working on it for thousands of years. You think the right is wrong and the wrong is left and the up is down and the down is up just started last week no it's been going on thousands of years it's a it's a it's an underground cult it's an underground cult that's been going on a long time they're trying to flip everything upside down But every time uh, there's a new dispensation, the devil gets discombobulated. We're in the age of grace right now. And uh, after the rapture, there's going to be a new one, a new dispensation. Dispensing truth. Dis dispensary is where you dispense medicine. So a dispensation is just dispensing new truth. Revealing new truth. That's why the 144,000, the two witnesses, and all the truth, the knowledge will go everywhere. God is dispensing truth into dispensations. 
he's revealing Jesus with the revelations. The book of Revelation is revealing Jesus, revealing the whole the whole pie. This is why that this is why it can blow people's mind if you really just study the Bible and you really meditate on what's going on around you, you already know what's going to happen before it happens. You know about the machine man. You know about the AI God. You know about the... They worship the AI God, little g. And you already know what's going to happen before it happens because there's nothing new under the sun. It repeats every day. That's why you don't have to be surprised. If you follow a routine long enough, you already know you gotta every five years you gotta replace your battery. Every few years you gotta get your tires done. Uh, every few years, three years, you gotta get your brakes done. Depends on how much you drive. You already know what's gonna happen before it happens. Because it's a cycle. Does that truck know where do we know where that truck's going in the next 30 seconds yeah it's going up here what about the next 30 minutes yeah it's going up there what about the next 30 years yeah it's gonna be right back here if it's not that truck it'll be one that if that one broke down it'll be another one doing the same thing it might be a tesla truck it might be electric but it's still going to be doing the same thing because a truck is a truck is a truck it's designed to be a truck you're designed to be a human. A human is a human is a human. What are you gonna do tomorrow? You're gonna eat, you're gonna sleep, you're gonna take a shower, you're gonna brush your teeth. It's the same stuff. But see, when you talk like this, it takes people out of their pride like they got something new you know that's how they make a living right the reason they don't want to tell you that there's nothing new because they can't get you to buy their product it destroys the economy because somebody's over here saying follow me do this buy this book buy this you know the multitude of books is weariness it's weariness of the flesh and multitude of books you know that's why I'd rather do a recording than a book but it's all a revealing. If you were to study that car, how the engineers designed it and all, it would all be a revealing as you discovered more and more. Has it gone anywhere? No. Did it just appear out of nowhere? No. It's re it, just, it just appeared to you. It just was revealed to you, but it's always been there. So just like Metropolis movie, 1928 or 1918, whatever it was, the Metropolis movie revealed the whole thing right there, back in, way back then. The actors and the movies are just repeating what's already been acted. The movie stars, stars, they want to be stars. Right? Their whole goal is to be a star. Movie star. There's another theater they don't even know about. The watchers, the angels, the the heavenly realm is watching this theater of life. Don't think it ain't happening, cause it's happening. So they got their affections down here. They want to be stars in front of men instead of a star in front of God. You know, seeking the truth. stuff is really more important than your little daily routine. To dig deep into what's really going on is more important than this daily repeat routine junk.